Hey guys, it's me, Shy. Thanks for these comments. Now I'm gonna try to show you how to get a match man and share with you what I learned about the weapon so far. By the way, I learned most of this from and now I want to impart it to you guys. Weapons in Earth Revival differs in their role. I haven't crafted all the weapons yet, but I'll try to show you as much as I can. The weapons I use are this. They all differ by element and role. This is my support weapon. And here's my damage weapon. I crafted this just yesterday actually. In here, I'm using blades for the support weapon. And the first skill is currently active, which means I currently have a temporary shield. The second skill for glaze restores the mid shield. So if the roll is a support, this weapon is useful for you. I use this weapon mostly. This weapon focuses on damage. The first skill launches 3 missiles that deals a lot of damage. Second skill focuses on one target, which is good for boss identity. Another weapon I use is Satus or Bow. The first skill is good for area damage because it pulls enemies inside the circle as it deals damage. The second skill also focuses on area damage and it deals a lot higher damage than the usual. This one is a shotgun and is good for defense. The first skill makes your character sprint and gives you temporary shield. That's the blue shield you can see in your health bar. Second skill deals area damage. Therefore, this weapon is both good for defense and damage. The next one is grenade launcher. This one is good for area damage. The first skill rains fire to the area aim. The second skill stuns enemies target. Now for my last weapon, the biofume. This one is also for damage that summons from. This is its normal attack. The first skill summons drone to attack the enemies. And the second skill launches a bomb towards an area of enemies. For other weapons, you can preview their skill on the crafting workbench so you can decide what's best for you. You can also click preview to see the actual skill. This weapon grants shield as a skill and it can also grant shield for teammates by shooting them. So it's a good support weapon. Moving on, here are the elements you can choose from. I chose Ice Element for my Glaze weapon. And by the way, don't forget to exchange upgrade materials with me. This is very important, especially for free players. As for the attachments, I still have the purple set, but if you want to have the gold set, you can achieve this mission to get the gold box that contains gold attachments. Aside from that, you can also do your exploration. I haven't completed it yet due to busy schedule in real life, but if you can, I hope you got this gold box. Bye King guys! Same goes with other gold attachments. Different maps bears different gold attachments for your weapon. Either explore or do this fight. So doing exploration is very important guys. Make sure to upgrade your bottleware too.
As for me, since my Minamal is AOE, I use the recommended AOE set. By the way guys, in case you don't know, each Minamal have recommended weapon for it. For example, mine I use Nibbles. And its recommended weapon are these two, which I don't have. And Nibbles is an AoE, so it's good to use area damage. Make sure to upgrade your equipment too as much as you can. That's why you need to buy this item in store. Same goes here. Mine is all low. <laughs> and if you can, modify your equipment too. And upgrade your chips too. In here, if you want to transfer stats for later. And this one, I'm still confused about this, but you can use your old cores to reroll stats. But for me, I don't know how to get the cards. Or am I just unlucky? I tried to roll a lot of times here, but nothing. I mean, I still don't know how to use it. You can also fuse it here. until you get the materials you need. By the way, in order to know which area you need to focus, you can just go to Arms Inspection. Then Weapon Rating to see which one you need to upgrade. As for me, it's my Battleware. To upgrade this, just buy or farm the needed materials. I guess that's all. Hope this video helped guys. And if you have corrections or suggestions, feel free to comment down below.